What's the longest living company? I, that is still the same name. AT and T's old. I think so. It might be AT and T. Long. I'm gonna say longest company. What you got? Rick and Bond founded 1776. Congo Gumi established in 578 AD is the oldest continually operating company in the world. Its ed- headquarters are located in Osaka, Japan. This construction company was founded by an immigrant who was commissioned by Prince Shotoku to build the Shintenu Buddhist Temple. Okay, that's cool. Oldest U.S. company. Oh, God. Shirley Plantation is the oldest company in the U.S. founded in Virginia in 1613, 163 years before the United States was a country. I wonder what they do. Oh, look, they have a Facebook and a LinkedIn. That's I'm funny. Just but yeah, Shirley Plantation. Before the... The, the flag was planted on the, the, the land. Damn. And they're just still going? Just, I mean, I mean, a plantation's like a thing. What are they making? Uh, and have, you, have you ever... Uh, it's an estate. Um, I got a Berkshire blanket, bro. This Berkshire blanket's probably one of the best blankets I've ever had, man. You ever seen these Berkshire the collared shirts that Berkshire Hathaway has, man? No. They're great. A great colored shirt. I might buy one. This looks like the house they filmed Django. <laughs> might be. Like 100%. Maybe uh, Tarantino is like, oldest plantation. Period. This is for sure where they filmed <laughs> Django. You've, you've been on the same internet as Tarantino. Congrats. Oh, okay. It's just, oh, God. This is giving me the chills looking through this. What is it? Scary people doing scary no, things? No, it's just like a house. I just imagine just slaves in the yard. Yurt. That was a solemn yurt. Um, Shirley. Come on, Shirley. What are we doing, dude? What are we doing, Shirley? Come on. Open your eyes here. Just because it was a really the Earth's best business model doesn't mean it's ethical, Shirley. Is, yeah. it, the, is it that good of a business? Maybe in the past, but. I mean, unpaid labor is pretty. Like, you, know. you could, you could, uh, I mean, <laughs> you, no if you take, insurance. If, if you have technology, right, you make that one time and you don't pay that. And the upkeep to keep up a technology, like in this present day, would be probably more efficient than humans laboring. Shout out everybody going to remote work and everybody getting laid off. Well, one could argue that part of slavery ending was efficiency and technology with the industrial revolution going on in the north and yeah. slavery just continuing in the south hey guys i got <laughs> this wood levers over here there's also the argument that uh abraham lincoln didn't even care about slavery he just wanted the industrial revolution to get going so he's like all right let's let's cut this shit let's get some factories down there incentives it worked incentives man if the uh, if the populace isn't incentivized by humanity, then maybe they'll be incentivized by efficient monetization systems. That's crazy. You know, we could all be wiped out, and it could just happen again. Of like slavery. Oh, uh, natural stuff or slavery. Slavery, like <laughs> they got some good stuff, man. Like, like if there was like a comet or something, and then like a couple humans survive. Or whatever, but it was like a new fucking. They had to like repopulate, and then like new countries started forming. And they're like, "Hey, we think we're better than you." Mm-hmm. And then like, you know, like, oh, it, as, <laughs> as technology poofs away, and you gotta build back up. Yeah, like a fucking nuclear war or something. That has probably happened in the past. <laughs> this is probably a, an iteration of, I mean, you, the ancient civilization stuff. But you go on a deep rabbit hole, and there's probably civilizations that have been wiped out and had different technology maybe i mean the stuff that exists now existed then right like the 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 materials to make it oh i don't know you're asking the wrong guy i mean we got rocks we have rocks but how do you get from rocks to bluetooth different tech man different technology it's like so many things have to like first you gotta fucking like electricity has to be a thing. <laughs> yeah, I can't well, even tell you, you how to discover that. <laughs> well, like, where, where the fuck do you start? Um, but I, there's 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 
if other civilization did exist and had like high tech stuff, it would it would be like, you know, like uh, in these sci fi movies, they, they go to different worlds and they're like different. They have different technology and like different like places. Um, there would be a whole different timeline of like what a high technology is. Yeah. It's all based on mushrooms and the mushroom computer and the mushroom doors.